I am excited to welcome you to Writing Tips. My name is Wayne. I am Sally. Our focus today is on tertology. Yes. What is tertology and why should you avoid it? We will also consider some examples that will help us understand our discussion. A tautology is the unnecessary repetition of an idea, statement, or word whose meaning has already been expressed. It can also be defined as an expression or phrase that says the same thing twice, just in a different way. Using tautology is embarrassing and is an indication that we have not mastered the English language. So we need to avoid tautology, but we can't avoid it unless we identify them. That is right. This video and subsequent ones will identify as many of them as possible. So get your pen and paper and join us as we embark on this interesting journey. It's a journey you will enjoy. Let's hit the ground running. Example 1. The interview will start by 8 a.m. in the morning. The problem with this sentence is a.m. and morning. A.m. which means anti-meridian means morning. The in the morning added to it, again, is not necessary. The right expression is, the interview will start by 8 a.m., or the interview will start by 8 in the morning. The same principle applies when we use p.m. We don't need to add afternoon, evening, or night. Example 2. The materials I got from the library were adequate enough. Adequate and enough are giving the same sense in this sentence. The right expression should be, the materials I got from the library were adequate, or the materials I got from the library were enough. At this point, it is important we state why people often fall into the trap of tautology. Yes, it is often because they want to emphasize what they are saying. Whenever you want to be emphatic, tread carefully to avoid tautology. Yes. Let's proceed to the third example. Example 3. The phone is a new innovation from Nokia. An innovation is something that is new. So there is no need to add new to the word innovation. Simply say, the phone is an innovation from Nokia. Example 4. The principal gave the students advance warning. A warning is a reminder given in advance, so it is repetition to say advance warning. What makes it a warning if it is not given in advance? Therefore, just say, the principal gave the students warning. Example 5. I love the evening sunset of the city. Sun sets in the evening, so evening sunset is tautology that must be avoided. Say, I love the sunset of the city. Example 6. 20 armed gunmen storm the city. The problem here is armed and gunmen. To be armed means to be carrying a gun which is the same as a gunman, so the use of armed gunmen is tautology. Rather say, 20 armed men stormed the city, or 20 gunmen stormed the city. Example 7. The landlord promised to install a new hot water heater. The problem here is hot and heater. A heater makes a water hot. Therefore hot in the sentence is useless. Say, the landlord promised to install a new water heater. Example 8. The policy is a universal panacea for the problem. The words universal and panacea are the problem here. Panacea connotes universal as it is a solution to all problems, which is the sense the universal is intended to give. Therefore, universal and panacea should not be used together. Example 9. Sandra bought a frozen ice fish from the market. Frozen and ice are similar words. They have no business being used together in the same sentence. Therefore, you can say, Sandra bought a frozen fish from the market, or Sandra bought an ice fish from the market. Example 10. He can't deny it. I heard it with my own ears. A similar expression is I saw it with my eyes. In both instances hearing and seeing are done with the ears, and eyes so stating the organ with which you hear or see makes no difference. However, in creative writing, such expressions are often used to buttress emphasis. Example 11. The new manager demands mutual cooperation from the workers. Mutual and cooperation connotes togetherness, unity and working together. Therefore using both of them in every day's conversation is tautology. Example 12. 
she told her father the reason why she was angry. The problem with this sentence is reason and why. Why tells the reason and the reason for an action and where's the question why? So the use of reason and why is tautology. Simply say, she told her father why she was angry, or she told her father the reason for her anger. It has been very revealing, isn't it? It is. This is where we call it a day. Watch out for the part 2 of this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe to this channel, as well. On behalf of Joseph Jacob, have a nice day. Bye.